It is 523. Wish TV is your education station. And Ben Davis freshman is heading back to school and proving what it means to succeed while battling adversity. He's finding a chronic health condition. News 8's Lake McGee is here now. And how is he advocating for his own needs? Well, we're talking about 15-year-old Xavier Garner. This is him right here behind me. So he's got a lot more on his mind than just textbooks. He's educating others on his chronic disease and showing them it's not getting in his way of finishing high school. At Ben Davis Ninth Grade Center, 15-year-old Xavier Garner is studying for his favorite class. Computer science. His teachers know about his sickle cell disease diagnosis, but it's something he's kept quiet about to his classmates. They might understand what's happening because maybe in their family they might have diagnosis too. Sickle cell disease is an inherited disorder where red blood cells become hard, get stuck, and clog the blood flow. It's kind of hard because you be going in pain most of the time. Like when it's raining or if it's cold, you got to take your medicine, go to the hospital, get checked out, get blood drawn. Xavion gets blood transfusions every five weeks, is in and out of hospitals, had 13 collapsed lungs, and has been in the ICU multiple times, making him miss a lot of school. He comes to our clinic about once a month. Steve Yaki is with the Indiana Hemophilia and Thrombosis Center. He helps Xavion with an education plan. There's um, accommodations that, uh, that, that not all kids have, obviously, um, and by letting them know these, these accommodations are out there, it evens the playing field for them as far as when it comes to school daily basis. A big part of his job is being the liaison between the school and his needs. He knows how to advocate for himself. Mom's a very strong advocate for him. Up the school stairs and around the corner in the hallway, Xavier and his mother Shannon notice a display about cells, health risks, and how to save lives. Shannon says she carries the sickle cell trait, but did not know until Xavier was diagnosed at two months old. It's hurtful to see a two-month-old baby just screaming in pain, and there's nothing you can do besides sit there and watch. So, you know, with him having sickle cell, sometimes people think, oh, it's gonna stop, he's sick all the time. But, you know, I'm a parent that pushes and I let him do whatever he wants. I'm not gonna stop him, but. It can be nerve wracking, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, it is, especially when they go in the hospital where, you know, they, he has migraines as well. So with his migraines and with the sickle cell, he's also at stroke risk. That's why they work closely with Yaki, to hold meetings with the staff and teachers to educate them on his diagnosis. You know, I don't have to be at home like, okay, what's going on? I'm not worried. What are they going to do? I asked Xavier if he was nervous to start high school. I was scared because high school is very hard in middle school. Well, you know what? You've overcome a lot of challenges since you were two months old. So I'm pretty sure high school, it's going to be a breeze for you. Yes, ma'am. Xavion is not letting his sickle cell disease stop him from continuing his education. In fact, he's already started college courses to get a head start on his future. I'm Lake McGee for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.